Hello everyone, welcome to my tutorial how to teach devil sticks. <coughs> Hello and welcome to my tutorial how to teach devil sticks. Don't be afraid if you want to learn devil sticks instead of teaching them. These principles will work just as well, but for me it's easier to explain from the point of a teacher. And I think if you want to learn using this tutorial, you will primarily be your own teacher anyway. So let's get this started. Another thing, you can use devil sticks like I do. You can also use flower sticks. The way to learn the TikTok, which is the basic trick, which is our main goal today, will be basically the same. Just be aware it will be much more harder using a devil stick and you'll save a lot of time if you get yourself a flower stick. Before we get to the Tic Tac, there will be a short warm up. In this case, the goal of the warm-up is not to get your blood flowing and your press heavy. Instead, we want to get you into a learning mode. And also, since you as a beginner probably haven't much experience with this prop, we'll just try to get you used to it. I'll just show you a bunch of tricks. I think they are pretty much self-explanatory. And yeah, just try to give them all a try until you do them at least a couple of times. The first tricks will be pretty easy. Most children get them in, I'd say, five tries. Some of the later tricks will be a bit harder. Don't be disencouraged if they don't work. It's totally fine and after all, these are nice tricks, but they are warm up and won't directly influence your ability to learn harder tricks later on. Yeah, these are the ones I usually use. Most devil stick teachers have a bunch of these they use for all their workshops and teaching lessons. They are pretty much the same. Sometimes one uses one trick over the other. If you work with super small children, I often like to include some of these rolling things because they work pretty well and give a nice feeling of success which is necessary to keep the student motivated or yeah to keep yourself motivated if you're trying this on your own so now there are three different ways to get to the tic tac and it's not unusual that i'll have to try all three of these before one of them actually sticks and there is no way to really tell which one will be the one to success i usually like to start with one that requires a little pre-exercise, which looks like this. The outer hand goes on the top, the hand under hand goes over the middle and you catch it like that. Once one side work, you want to do the other one and spend a little time until you can easily transition between both. The last variant is relatively hard. You don't need to do it, but I suggest to at least give it a try. So now we are going to your preferred side. And what you want to do is push with the other stick a little bit and you realize that the other two hands won't, uh, the other hand won't move at all which makes it look like this. And this is where the magic starts to happen sometimes, which leads to them. 
are many tea children, so I say them, at least could lead to you starting to do this instead of this. And as you see, the difference is with the easy version, both hand sticks are on one, always the same half of the devil sticks. If I do this faster, there will be one hand stick on each side. And you probably already uh, saw that the devil stick movement is pretty much the same. Only that here we have an additional hand stick to make it a little bit more controlled and really get it stuck in this situation while for the tic tac it has the room to drop. As I said, sometimes this works. I also often have people who don't think this is as intuitive as it is for others. In this case I usually go to a second exercise which I'll show you in a bit. So now we are coming to pre-exercise number two where we'll try to take away the gravity by putting the devil stick on the floor kneeling down. You can kneel down basically any way you want. And what we try is to do the tic tac but without the diff extra difficulty of it being in the air. I usually use this section of a teaching lesson to explain some things. Number one is that you don't want to hit. Instead you want to catch it get the energy until it stays and then gently push it back to the other side. You can try to make it extra hard by going down all the way to the floor. But the best and important thing really is to get comfortable. The other important issue I address at this place is that you want your hand stick always pointing to the top front. If I put the hand stick to the outer side, if the devil stick hits it, it will roll forward and drop. If I on the other hand have it to the inside, it will hit my hand, which sometimes can hurt, so we really want to avoid it. Now we can play with this one until it feels comfortable. And then I suggest to just try lifting the devil stick up from the standing position and keep going. This can work, often it doesn't. And if it works, it will usually only be for a few ticks before you lose control. That is totally fine. You just have to practice. Assuming the method number two didn't work for you, there is another exercise I like to do. It's a little bit similar to one of the first tricks we had in our warm up, the half spin. But now instead of catching it with two hands, we're going to try to catch it with one hand, gently push it back and catch it on both hands again. Start with your preferred hand, but also give it a try with the other one. This exercise is great to get a feel for this moment of zero gravity, where the devil stick basically stands still at one point until we push it back. Yeah. And now you have three different methods. I suggest to give them all a try. This should last between a quarter hour and half an hour. The warm up I showed before should usually take about 15 minutes. And after that you're allowed to go free, which means just trying to do the tic tac for as long as you can. One important thing is how to start. You usually want to start from either the position on the ground, which we have 
just seen before. This is on the long run a bit annoying because there's a lot of kneeling down and standing up. So the second way is to start from the flat position and go from there with a little bit less than a half spin. The other option which I personally prefer is to hold the devil stick like this. Uh, you have there, now I'm in the camera, your hand stick like this. By the side note that I'm holding the hand stick in the middle, not at the end. This has two reasons. A, that later, if you are trying to do advanced tricks, there are tricks like this or this that require you to have a backhand so you get used to it. The other thing is that the shorter the piece from the hand to the top is, the more control you'll have over the hand stick. If you see me now trying to wiggle it, I can resist a lot. If I instead hold it at the end, there's much more room for, room for movement in the hand stick itself. So make sure to rather hold it in the middle. And another thing I do, as you see, is to extend my pointing finger and put it to the side. This way the hand stick feels like an extension of your pointing finger which gives it a lot of control because most of the nerves of the fingers are concentrated in the fingers tips. So yeah, you'll feel more and you'll be able to control what you do better. Now I totally forgot where I was. Um, something with... T ah, the way to start, exactly. So I hold it like this. And then I'll hold the devil stick with my thumb and the tip of the pointing finger. And I'll hold, go a little bit like this and just release it. These are my preferred ways to start a tic tac. And yeah, I think this should give you a pretty good idea of what to do and how to do it. Ah, another last thing, please make sure that you're standing in a proper position. I don't want you to stand like this with one foot in front and your shoulders up. Also don't go like this. In straight legs, a little bit of tension in the butt and the belly. And try to maintain it. Often, of course, in the beginning you will be forced to walk. Try to Find a mix between avoiding it, not getting into the total run, but if it happens and you feel like you're still in control, just go for it. Uh, you can also, once you are in a point where you comfortably can do, let's say, about 20 ticks. One tick is one contact between hand stick and devil stick. Start to uh, purposely walk. The easiest thing is forwards and backwards, but there's also a lot of benefit to try to do it sidewards or even to rotate the devil stick. Another tool I like a lot is to train in a so-called pyramid system, which means you'll start with one tick, if this works, two ticks, if this works, three ticks, if this works, oh shit, and once you drop, you will gonna start from the beginning with one, two, and so on. This is, leads to a system called drop free training, training, where you try to stay in control for as long as possible, so you don't practice the things that you are making wrong because if you go every attempt full out until you drop you probably have three or four ticks before you drop which weren't that good, unprecise, something was wrong and the more often you do the more exactly this failure will burn into your head so try to stop before the devil stick gets out of control and you're even in the risk of dropping. Yeah, I 
think that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me, message me, whatever. And yeah, just give this a try. It might take some time. It's not an easy trick. I remember when I was a children learning this trick, my huge goal was to go for 100 ticks. And I remember that it took me about one month, which was with devil sticks. With flower sticks, it's not unusual for a person to get, I'd say, 20 ticks, which in the first day, one and a half hours, maybe a bit more. Uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you, have fun, hope you like this and stuff. Bye bye. Hi, it's me again. I just watched my recording and realized I forgot two things. One is that uh, obviously you don't only want to push the devil stick to the side, but that with every contact you want to lift it up just a little bit so it stays in the air instead of going down, 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 down until it drops. You can think of every tick as one catch and one throw. And the throw really is what keeps the devil stick in the air. The other thing is where do you want to hit the devil stick? I suggest to hit it somewhere between the middle of one half and a third uh, from the top position. So somewhere between here. A lot of devil sticks have a marker around that place. But if not, that's totally fine. You'll get used to it. Just be aware to hit it around that place. If you go higher, the pattern will be much faster, a little bit harder, and it will be much more difficult to get at the upward move movement. If you hit lower, the tic tac will be much, much slower, which is a nice tool to have for a lot of tricks uh, but yeah it's also a lot harder than going the middle way which I suggest is what you primarily work on until you have your tic tac down to the point where you can do it for as long as you wish and yeah that's what I wish for you good luck bye bye again